do you ride like uh, jumps and stuff? No, I don't jump though, no. but I, I like dirt roads. Good morning internet, it is what time is it? 9.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel, welcome here in Sandpoint, Idaho. I'm taking it a little bit easy today, there's no real need for an early departure because distance wise I'm not going to ride very far today. I'm going to try and ride to some lake, I ride a little bit into in the forest, I think it'll be forest. And then the main thing for today is just to cross into Canada. So today is going to be my last ride in the United States. Pretty crazy. Um, but I am ready for Canada. As you can see, I'm wearing my new gear. So I don't have to worry about the cold anymore. Uh, today is actually a glorious day. Um, it's really, really nice out. But well, I don't want to get ahead of myself. But I looked at the weather forecast for Canada, for British Columbia. And it's bad. <laughs> it's going to get cold and rainy, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy that uh, I have full waterproof gear and it's gonna keep me warm yeah let's go Let, let's do another border crossing today uh, i had to download an app a canadian app uh, for the whole vaccine type thing uh, but that's all sorted so i think it should be a relatively easy border crossing let's hope so yeah, so it's only 133 kilometers so that's no issue i want to end up end up in a place called creston today which is well pretty much the first town on the Canadian's uh, side. I just saw an uh, elk with a, with a small foal running away. I just missed it, so I didn't capture it on camera. But yeah, must be a lot of elk and deer and, I don't know, bears and whatnot living around here. I've already uh, deviated from my intended route. <laughs> that didn't last very long. Because uh, the way I wanted to go, well, there was a gate saying it was private property. So now I'm just trying to find another way. Now I'm on the, this is called Ruby Creek Road. So let's see, the mountains uh, on the back here, they are about 1700 meters. So the question is, is there going to be snow? From a distance, I, I did see some bigger mountains with uh, snow on top. So my mission for today is to try and stay low. You can see uh, evidence of heavy rain here too. It's all uh, very washed out here. So I'm not sure <laughs> if I can follow this trail for as long as I want to. We'll find out soon enough. I'm not too far away from where I wanted to ride, so... So far so good, but I'm, I'm climbing quite quickly now. You see all these uh, elevation lines. But I mean, come on. The United States is just adventure riding paradise I have to say there is so much of this stuff here and you got all the trails to yourself basically well no sometimes you meet a guy with a chainsaw <laughs> what a hero but yeah most of the time you're on your own Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> so, um, that's where 
my original route was planned. So you can see I wanted to come from there. And well, I couldn't have because it's all snow. But now the question is can I continue from here? I do have to turn back. Of course, this is Caribou Pass, so good road. Yeah, I'm on the top of the pass, really. So, if I can get through here, that's too much. <laughs> it's too much. I thought I can try to come through here. And it goes all the way down there too. Hey, look. This must be elk. Look how big those hooves are. Enormous, right? I don't see any bear prints. <laughs> Guess that's a good thing. Well, I don't know about you. But I lost count <laughs> how many times I had to turn back in the United States, or well, turn back, find another way. <laughs> it's so many times. Um, yeah, it's just this, uh, this late snow season just uh, completely took me by surprise. And well, I guess in a way I'm also really stubborn because I could say, okay, it's just going to be paved roads. <laughs> But I can't help myself, I have to try. <laughs> you know, and if I want to build skills, I have to challenge myself and ride trails like I just did. Even though it wasn't that hardcore, but still. It takes more work and effort in the riding than just uh, going straight, of course. I think my problem is also that I'm a bit too optimistic <laughs> or maybe hopeful that I'm like, ah, maybe over here there's no snow you know <laughs> I just keep on hoping let's go this way at least going down it's quite a bit easier All I have to do is try to avoid the biggest rocks, so... <laughs> Piece of cake? I've now entered the Kootenai Wildlife Refuge. And I believe the whole region, the Kootenais, it runs all the way across the Canadian border. I believe there the mountains are also called Kutenai, if I pronounce that correctly. I'm getting very close to the Canadian border now, only 31 kilometers to go. Getting close, it's a windy day. I hope you can uh, even hear me with all this wind. the last few kilometers of American countryside. It's only 5k to the border. So I'm getting very close. It's right here. There we 
we go. This is the American side. Do not enter wrong way. This way. Weapons allowed. Okay, well, I guess uh, leaving the United States is even easier than getting in. Well, that's usually the case in many countries, it's easier to get out. But um, yeah, there's no control, nothing. Real quick, what's your, uh, your YouTube channel? Uh, my YouTube channel is called Itchy Boots. Itchy Boots? Yeah. Itchy? Yeah, I T C H Y and then B O O T S. That's your YouTube channel? Yeah. You do Instagram too? Yeah, I do Instagram too. What yeah. Itchy Boots Travel. It's, it's Itchy Boots Travel. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. So is that going all the time? Sorry? Is this going all the time? Uh, not all the time. Because the batteries are terrible. So I just film if something interesting is happening. And then you, uh, do you edit it and stuff before you post or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's That's a lot of work. Of it, yeah. And I put music, make it all dramatic and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you can want all the, the followers, yeah, you know, it's gotta be entertaining, huh? <laughs> Always. Do you ride like uh, jumps and stuff? No, I don't jump, no. But I, I like dirt roads. I don't really like asphalt, it's a dual sport, so I try to ride a lot of dirt. Yeah. But it's been really difficult because I keep on finding snow everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so the amount of times I had to turn around in the US because of snow, it's, it's a lot. But um, it's still good fun. So what's next? Let's just see what happens, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Fun. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no check, nothing. So it's just a Canada side then. No stamp in my passport. I mean, I have a 10 year visa for the United States, so I guess they don't even bother with the, with the stamp. That's okay, let's see, Canadian side. Well, that took two minutes, three at most. I, show, I showed my passport. She asked me how long I was staying. Stamped the passport. I had to show that, um, or that app, that, that like pre-registration COVID thing. Showed my bike paper and that's it. No temporary import either, nothing. <laughs> I'm loving these border crossings. Man, I'm just so used to these chaotic border crossings and all this hassle and paperwork. And yeah, the United States and Canada are just an absolute breeze. I love it. Um, so I can say it. I can say it. Welcome to Canada. Oh, I'm here. Let me put my goggles on before I have a fly in my eye. Preston, that's where I'm going. Um, yeah, I'm in Canada. It's my first time in Canada. I have never been here before. So that in itself is quite exciting. And yeah, let's see, let's see. Um, 
I'm just gonna go to Creston now. So today it's not gonna be a lot of riding in Canada yet. I think it's just I budgeted all this time for a border crossing, you know. Normally in Latin America a border crossing easily takes up two hours. So on border crossing days I'm always really focused on the border crossing and making sure I have enough time for that. But uh, yeah, it's not really in my system anymore that the border crossing can also take only three minutes. <laughs> so yeah, now it's only uh, one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I'm almost there. So that's actually quite nice. Oh, I'm already in Creston, I think. That was a very uh, short hop. Check out that car in front of me. It's a cool car. What is it? A Cuda? These seem to be... I don't know. What are these? Grain sheds or something? Grain storage? Crescent Valley Motel. First things first, I am gonna go uh, and set myself up with a local Canadian uh, SIM card. So I can make phone calls and all of this and have uh, data. And I have a Canadian phone number and internet. It's a bit of a step down coming from the United States where I was very spoiled with having 5G everywhere. But uh, now it's back to 3G, which is more normal uh, around the world. But uh, doesn't really matter, it will do just fine. I have 20 gigabytes. So that's another thing that I, I was actually really spoiled in the US because I got unlimited data for 50 US dollars per month. That's crazy insane. I've never ever had that before. So I was really spoiled. But uh, yeah, back to uh, normality <laughs> with uh, watching my data and that sort of thing. There is one other thing I want to check out because today it is a farmer's market. So I thought, you know what, let me go and check out what these Canadian farmers are doing over here. Ah, oh, it's quite big. Look at that. What do we have? Ooh, fresh asparagus. Look at those. Hi. Ooh, this is cider. I would like that one for Paul, garden. Looks really good. Local honey, look at that. I like markets like these. Very nice to see all the local produce and I got myself a coffee and an apple pastry. So I say I'm all sorted. Um, so that was it for today. Um, my first day in Canada. Yeah, I can't wait to go and explore and see what uh, Canada has to offer. And uh, it's still glorious weather. So let's hope it will uh, stay that way. But uh, I guess we'll find out. So that was it for today. Uh, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.